really like to have the elements of my life line up so that on the whole, there's a lot less work for me. Nowhere is this more true than when I'm going to school. It's my draw toward interdisciplinary studies. It's also the reason that I'm so protective of my learning circle. I mean, if you're going to be affecting the way that I'm living my life, at least for the period of time that I'm in your class, I really want to know who you are and, and what your values are. When I signed up for ECI 831, I had a project in mind that not only satisfied the course requirements, it also linked to my larger goals of completing my Masters of Integrated Studies program at Athabasca, as well as setting me up with a research foundation from which I would be able to launch my PhD. In the early summer of this year, Copalac, the Council of Public Liberal Arts Colleges, met at the Augustana campus of the University of Alberta. As Augustana is my alma mater, I decided that I would come home from living abroad so I could volunteer at this meeting. I knew that it would be an opportunity for me to meet with individuals who believe in the same tenets of liberal arts in post-secondary education as I do. I was thrilled when I found out that I actually even knew one of the panelists. I had been following Jim Groom, at Jim Groom, on Twitter for at least a year before the conference began. Jim Groom was presenting along with Stephen Greenlaw and John St. Clair about the possibility of moving liberal arts into an online education platform. When they put out the call for course reviewers, I envisioned a project that would allow me to do the things that educators do. You know, create rubrics to evaluate the purpose of a project and whether or not those goals get reached. And, you know, gather articles outlining educational philosophy. And of course, gather information defining liberal arts and deciding for the University of Mary Washington, Copalac, and Augustana what exactly liberal arts entails. There was a great professor at Augustana, Dr. Sandra Rain, who got on board with this project with me. She and I sat down and decided it was time to contact Jim Groom. Uh, uh, hey, Jim Groom. Hey, 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 Jim Groom. Um, uh, hey, uh, Jim Groom. Jim Groom! All right, I think if I enter the rabbit hole, I might be able to find Jim Groom. Jim Groom, I know I'll find you in here somewhere. Maybe if I try and follow Cogdog into the center of the internet, maybe I'll be able to find Jim Groom there. Jim Groom, where are you? Is that you, Jim Groom? No, that's a cat. As my fellow ECI 831 students began talking about their final project, panic began to set in. I haven't even sent Alec an email outlining my project yet, let alone actually accomplished anything toward that end. And in the meantime, I was seeing this Jim Groom character everywhere. It was wasting my life on DS-106 radio and getting nowhere. Where was my invitation? Why wasn't I included? Oh, I know what this must be. My gold embossed invitation from Jim Groom. Huh? Kill your radio. Huh? Then it happened. Across my Twitter stream came this. They, and that, the other thing that we talked yeah. about was this whole notion of like the review panel yeah. of the course, like getting rid of this idea this that right. you know there's a review panel who's been given a rubric and they're going to evaluate your submission that against that rubric. Sick, so what we suggested is that instead we think of these more as kind of creative partnerships where. Each faculty member has access to a panel, a group of colleagues who each offer a slightly different perspective on what they're doing, on what they're teaching, on how they're teaching, um, and that it's as much a like a 
a conversation about the course uh, than it is a review of the course. You can't model community in your class if you're not doing it in the creation of your class. Right. And that's... Oh, it's DIY. It's edupunk. I have to write myself into this if I want to be a part of it. But I have seen how these cool cats roll. Either it's with them, life is animated, and it's flash. Do I have enough to... Break in. Break in. Break in. Unplug a punk, you get a hippie. Oh,